There are four fundamental concepts introduced in this example. They are the ritual, which is executed at the beginning of our program, the direction register, which will specify whether an I.O. port is an input or an output, inputs, and outputs. Let's begin. The idea of this problem is to initialize the system so that PT7, 6, 5, and 4 are inputs and PT3, 2, 1, and 0 are outputs. Then later we will make the outputs output high. The first concept we have to deal with is the idea of a direction register. Port T has an associated definition called data direction register for port T. The data direction register will specify whether the port is an input or an output. To make a pin an output, we will set the corresponding bit in the direction register high. Our software will have two parts to it. First is the ritual, which is executed once, and the second will be the action, which we will execute when we want the output to go high. In order to set the direction register, we first bring a value into the accumulator. So when we execute load A, 0F, a 0F will come in to register A. When we execute the store instruction, the value 0F is copied into the data direction register. This causes PT7 through 4 to be inputs and PT3 through 0 to be outputs as desired. Later, when we want to set the output high, we will bring a 0F into the accumulator and then store it to port T. When we execute the store instruction, the value of 0F is copied into port T, causing those four outputs to go high. So in summary, we have seen that the ritual is executed once to initialize the system. The direction register is set to specify the inputs and outputs. And to cause the output to change, the program will store to port T. Thank you very much.